Trey and Matt took me to Salt Lake City early on in our writing process. We took a, like a field trip there, and um, they showed me Temple Square, and they took me on all the, the little tours that the missionaries take you on. And <clears throat> there's one room where Jesus is kind of standing there, um, and there's a star field behind him. But it's not just, I mean, first of all, that's a little weird to have Jesus with a star field. You just don't usually see that. It's, it's so science fiction-y. Um, but not only that, there were like these huge, big old planets like Tatooine and Hoth and Dagobah. Like you just <laughs> saw all these. It was this, It was a super Star Wars-y thing. And then not only that, like that when you'd wait there and then the missionary would come in, the lights would dim a little bit and she, she'd press this very, very clearly visible button and Jesus would start talking. Says, I am Jesus. So that's where that part came from. <laughs> we went to Palmyra, New York about two years ago because we, we had known, and I'd known for a long time that they have this big pageant where they basically put on stories from the Book of Mormon and, and Mormons from all over the country come and if they're dressed in the right costume, they can be part of the cast and it's just this big crazy thing I kept hearing about. And finally, two years ago, Matt and Bobby and I were like, okay, we gotta go. And so we went, we visited the little cabin that Joseph Smith grew up in. We visited the printing press that first printed the Book of Mormon and then went to this pageant. And it actually ended up playing into the scenes that kind of were like, oh, we should bookend our musical with this and do kind of our own miniature version of the Hill Cumorah pageant, which is now the very start of our musical and the very start of act two.